Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I'm going to show you how to move from WhatsApp iPhone to WhatsApp Android. This is going to be the first time we're going to be able to transfer from WhatsApp iPhone to WhatsApp Android without using a third party software. So there's no paid software for this. This is supported on the new flip devices from Samsung. On my right hand, I have the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. So before doing this, let me show you a little video that Samsung put together on his presentation from August 2021. If you're upgrading to a foldable, Smart Switch makes it easy to keep the apps and memories you're used to. For the first time on any Android smartphone, you can securely transfer your WhatsApp experience, including your conversations and photos, from your old iPhone to your new Galaxy smartphone. We're so excited. As the video says, for the first time, you're going to be able to transfer from WhatsApp iPhone to WhatsApp Android without a third party, without paying for software. All right. So how can we do that? First of all, guys, I want you to update your phones. You need to update the operating system. So Android 11 or iOS 14 and also the app. So for example, on my iPhone, I have the WhatsApp app. And if you see the button open, that means that you have the latest version. If you see here update, that means that there's a new version for update. So I have my WhatsApp. Let's say I have chats with different people. Specifically on this conversation, I added photos and audio and videos. So I have a video here, another video here. One more here. So in total, I think it's 25 megs. In your case, you're gonna have gigs of data to transfer, but for this uh, tutorial purposes, I just have this limited amount of data. But I do have chats and I do have photos, videos, and even some audio here. The goal is to transfer all this, all these pictures and videos and chat history from my iPhone to my new Android. So how can we do that? Again, first you need to update the iOS. I'm running iOS 14.7.1. iOS is up to date. And here, if you go to software information, you're gonna see that I'm running Android 11. In order to start this, you need to have enough battery on your Android device. You need to have 80% or more. Right now I have 90%, so we are good in terms of battery. What else do we need? I recommend you not to have WhatsApp installed on the Android. Don't install WhatsApp, just leave it like that. And also we're gonna need this cable, lighting port to type C cable. If you bought the iPhone 12, you got this cable on the box. If not, you're gonna have to buy it. So how can we start this? We just need to connect both devices together. So let's start with the iPhone. Okay, we have the iPhone connected. And then on the other end, we're gonna connect it to the Android. Let's see what happens. Immediately, the Android is gonna tell you, choose an app for the USB device. So you're gonna click on a smart switch just once. And look at this guys, it's saying connecting to transfer your data. It says check your iPhone. You need to tap trust and click next. Connecting to transfer, searching for data to transfer. So the Android already checked everything on the iPhone that it can transfer, including calls, messages, apps. Guys, another thing, there's a difference between clicking on the app that's going to deselect it or clicking on the arrow that's going to open it. All right. Let me see something here. For example, here, right? The same thing. So using this app is also going to tell you what data can be transferred. So if you click here, they're going to show you what cannot be transferred from the iPhone to the Android. This is FaceTime, messages with iMessage, effects, of course, and, you know, data from iPhone that is locked, home script wallpaper because of copyright infringement, stuff like that. But you're going to be able to transfer images, videos, audio, and everything, right? You can click here to deselect everything or click here to select everything. In my case, I want to transfer everything, all right? On the app, it only says Android version of your iOS apps will be downloaded and you'll get recommended apps when there is no exact match. All right, so we are pretty much ready to do the transfer, guys, for the first time. Natively, you're going to be able to transfer from WhatsApp iPhone to WhatsApp Android. So let's do it, guys. Let's click on transfer. And look at this, guys. It says WhatsApp Messenger, 34 megs. Apps will ask for permissions, chat history, and media. You will need to scan a QR code with your iPhone. So let's wait for that. All right, so I'm just going to click install, you know. Boom. And look at this. Transfer WhatsApp chats. It scan the QR code with your iPhone to open WhatsApp, then tap start. So with the iPhone, we're going to open the camera app, and we're going to scan the QR code. Boom, right there. So we're going to open WhatsApp from here. Open WhatsApp, open. And look at this, move chat to Android. Transfer your chat history and media to your new Android device. You will not be able to transfer later if you skip this step. So we're gonna start right now, boom. 
and a known error occurred. Please try again. Oh my goodness. What happened? Transferring data from your old phone. Zero percent. Backing up iPhone. Okay, guys, so we have 96. We are really close to reach 100%. Let's see if it's going to work or not. Done transferring your data. We are organizing your transfer data in the background. It's saying that it's done and it's going to take some, some time to reorganize the, the files. And it says you can now disconnect the USB cable. All right, so let's do that. Disconnected the USB cable. On the iPhone, we're still seeing this screen. We didn't do anything. So if we go home. Let's see if we transfer all. Look, this is what's up right now. This is what's up. Hmm. Agree and continue. But it's going to ask me for my phone number. So it looks like it didn't work, guys. I'm just trying to move my chat history from WhatsApp iPhone to WhatsApp Android. And I already connected the cables. So let's see what happened. I supposedly click on here. Okay. And just once. And it says connecting to transfer your data. And this is all the stuff that I'm going to be able to move from the iPhone to the Android. And if you click here on, on apps, okay, you don't see anything, right? But if you actually click on transfer, you should see WhatsApp. Look at this. WhatsApp Messenger right there, guys. So these are the only two apps that I don't have on my Android. So that's what I'm going to transfer from the iPhone to the Android. All right, so let's see what happened, guys. Let's see if this works or not. I'm going to click Install. Transfer WhatsApp chats. I need to scan this QR code with my iPhone. So how can I do that? I open the camera app. And I'm going to go on top. And this is going to open WhatsApp. And it says, Move chats to Android. When I click Start, and it says, Continue on your new phone. You can continue setting up your Android phone when you are done. Open WhatsApp to restore your chat history and media. Do not disconnect your cable yet. And we're seeing here that it says six minutes left. Backing up the iPhone data. And we still have the cables connected. The lighting cable to type C. Let me see 98. Wow, 98, okay. So one minute left. Oh, look at this. Done transferring your data. Continue on your new phone, right? So it didn't, didn't give me any error. Before it gave me an error. So it says, done transferring your data. We are organizing your transfer data in the background. And we'll let you know when that's done. In the meantime, enjoy your phone. And it says, you can now disconnect the USB cable. But on the iPhone, it's still saying, don't disconnect your cable yet. Who is right here? I'm just going to keep it there until it's done. What happened if I go to the home screen? I still don't see the WhatsApp app. Look at this, guys. It says organizing your transfer data. What happened if I click here? It says two minutes left. So what happened if we click here? We're going to open this. Organizing your transfer data. You can now disconnect the USB cable. But I'm not going to do it because the iPhone is still telling me not to do it. One minute left. Oh, look at this data transfer results and it says 18 videos 12 messages 49 images let me see here iphone apps see matching of recommended android apps and choose what to install apps only one app that's whatsapp it says that is installed also t-mobile and let me click on iphone apps this is whatsapp right there Apps will ask for permissions. Okay, so it's asking me to um, agree and continue. Continue on new phone. Do not disconnect cable yet. Okay, but it's asking me for the phone numbers. I'm gonna click next. You enter the phone number, 954, is that okay? Hold on one second. I wanna see something here, guys. Hold on one second. Setup in progress. What do you mean in progress? Getting your phone ready. No, I don't have a Samsung account. Okay, so let's say it says here continue on your new iPhone. So I guess I have to um, validate it, right? Let's see.
and I'm gonna get the code on uh, on this iPhone, the one that I'm recording with. Eventually, can send an SMS with your code because you tried to register recently. Request a call or wait before requesting. Okay, so I'm gonna request a call, but it's gonna call me on this phone, so probably the video is gonna be gone. Yes. I just entered my verification code and I'm sorry I couldn't record it because it came to the phone that I'm using to record this. So that's why I have to pick up the phone call from WhatsApp and get the code. But look at this, this is new, I think. It says importing chat history, importing chat history. We need permission to restore your chats. You will not be able to import later. Okay, so we're gonna click start and we're gonna allow allowed everything importing chat history okay so this is new this is this is good and it says import complete next okay so i'm gonna put alex and what's up close let me open it again Okay, and I have this, and look at this. This is the chat history, guys. Let me open this. And yes, successful, guys. Look, I was able to import my chat history entirely because I have all the pictures and videos here. Test of, so this is a test of a WhatsApp status. You see, it happens when I was not using a tripod Look, this is an audio. Yes, guys, and and I'm gonna show you another videos from here. For example, the Apple Store. So everything got transferred, guys. So that's it. There you have it. The new way to transfer from the iPhone WhatsApp chat history to your new Android device. Again, guys, this only works on the newest Samsung phone, flip phones. In this case, I have this guy here i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i see you on my next video take care bye